So what they'll be able to see tonight is an eclipse and eventually they'll get a full eclipse and the moon's going to turn sort of this reddish hue color. Uh, the reason for that is what, what happens during an eclipse is the moon passes through the shadow of the earth. You can see our shadow creeping across the moon right now. Uh, and when the total eclipse is in place, the moon pops up again in a reddish color. The reason for that is all of the sunlight is getting blocked except for the bit of sunlight you see at sunrise and sunset. And one way to think about the reddish color, it's sort of like adding up all the sunrises and sunsets all over planet earth at the same time and bouncing them off the moon's surface for us to see. And that's why your, your eyes aren't playing tricks on you when the moon looks red tonight. It's actually red. That's the color it'll, it will be during the eclipse. So we're going to get four lunar eclipses, which is referred to as a tetrad over the next uh, 18 months or so. The reason for that is the alignment of the Earth's uh, orbital plane and the Moon's orbital plane is such that it's going to be just right where we get sort of a series of these oh, uh, in, a, in a fairly short amount of time. If you do miss the one tonight because it's cloudy where you live um, or because you oversleep your alarm clock and you don't wake up tonight, uh, the next one we're going to have here in North America is going to be October 8th. And it's also going to be late in the night, early in the morning, a little bit later into the night uh, than, than this one tonight. Um, so we do have another opportunity, but I suggest if you can see it tonight, you do so because uh, you don't know what the weather is going to be in October. Space.com.